Hey everyone, this is Noah Van Skyver. I have, I have like a lot more chats um, with cartoonists and people in comics that I'm going to post on this channel, but um, editing the chats takes like five hours, so I, I'm just going to, I'm going to slowly do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to try and have them posted again soon. I, I have so much work to do um, on my books right now that I've just been spending my time doing that stuff because I'm on a deadline and, and not... Um, as much time on the YouTube channel um, as I as I um, want to be, I guess. So I, I, today on this video, I just want to talk a little bit about this uh, book that I'm working on here, which is like a biography of Joseph Smith and the kind of the founding of the Mormon religion. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the how I how I write it, how I and how I pace things. So um, okay, let's let's get into it. All right, so to jump into it, um, this is the ending of chapter seven which is about this bank that uh, Joseph Smith and, and his, uh, uh, the kind of the presidents of the church at the time started up for the members of the church and it kind of collapsed. And then Joseph was, um, he, he had to sneak out of Kirtland, Ohio with uh, Sidney Rigdon uh, in the middle of the night to escape all the debtors and stuff that were swarming all around him. And, and a lot of the people in the church um, kind of lost their faith and abandoned Joseph Smith and the, the church altogether. But uh, Joseph asked Brigham Young at the time to just gather up whoever will still uh, follow and 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 bring them to Missouri because they're going to leave Ohio and go to Missouri and just kind of try and start over, right? Uh, so here we go. This is the last page of Chapter 7. There's uh, Sidney Rigdon and Joseph Smith, and they're fleeing in the night. All right, so here's that chapter break page, which I do on the computer, so I don't have an original artwork for that one. So then I was like, okay, so chapter eight, um, let's just dive right into, the, you know, 1838, and here we go, it's Missouri, and it's something called the Mormon Wars, where the they've um, outlawed uh, Mormonism in Missouri, and, and uh, they've legalized killing Mormons, so like a militia pops up, and they're just, uh, you know, there's this thing called the Hans Mill Massacre and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to do that as silent pages of just the chaos happening, right? Like these people showing up and just hunting down Mormons, killing them, destroying their properties and stuff like that. So I have these four pages and I was like, okay, I'm going to, that will just kind of deal with that. And like right up here, it'll say like, uh, you know, uh, oh, that's not it. <laughs> On one of these, Missouri 1838. Uh, maybe I erased it, but it's the title of the chapter, which is um, called Order 44, I think, which was the uh, order that was to, um, you know, chase Mormons out of Missouri. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that as just a silent uh, few pages, and then I'll dive into what the meat of this chapter is really about, which is about Joseph Smith uh, kind of... Um, turning himself in or, or basically being betrayed into to turning himself in to the authorities and being brought to jail in Liberty, Missouri. So I have, okay, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this page here, these pages where it's all chaos, and then I'll just dive directly into him giving himself up or being tricked into uh, being taken in. And then I'll just like, just cut to the chase. So I was like, I, that's what I want to do. I just want to cut to the chase of the jail scene. So here we go. Everybody hates him. Him and his buddies are in this jail. And then the meat of the story, which is, uh, you know, all this stuff here, which is them just stuck in jail. And it's terrible, you know. So, all right. So reading that after I had finished this stuff, which was like, okay, here's the main points of the story. Then I read it and I and I can tell what the pacing problems are with it. I can tell that it's moving along way too quickly and that I really need to slow things down and explain a little bit because it might be too confusing for people. So then what I do is we have this scene here, the opening scene, if you remember, where it's just chaos. And if you're somebody who's reading this book and you're like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Why are these people all being attacked? So I decided what I'm going to do is do this. Open it up. This will be the first page of the chapter, which is the order actually being written and explained. Then the people showing up into this village, and then it'll lead into the chaos. 
and then I'll insert one more chaos page, which is some of the more uh, the more <laughs> some of the Mormons in the, in Hans Mill uh, fighting back. Uh, okay, so then it goes like that. So that's that whole scene. It'll be this awesome. I'll, it'll be really colorful because I, I color all this stuff in the computer, and then it'll dive right into uh, the Joseph Smith stuff. But I needed a break from that chaos to Joseph Smith giving himself in or, or being betrayed. And so I just put this here. So basically now it'll go, you know, the, the cost of this kind of aggression, just abstract, chill out, separation border between the next part of the chapter, which is, okay, this is all the context. Here's Joseph giving himself up. All right, so there's that. Then I was reading it. We have, you know, Joseph's giving himself up, being betrayed. I keep saying giving himself up, but he was betrayed. And uh, it was a trap. He thought he was just going to talk to them and, and try and figure out some peaceful way, but he, he was actually tricked. So then I was like, I needed to insert another page. So instead of just going from here to here, I have a page in between now where it's the horses taking them in and he's just kind of realizing that he's been betrayed and he's going to jail and you got some guy being a jerk and then it's them being brought into jail all right so then we go i read what i have here which is joseph and his friends in jail being transferred to a, a worse jail and i go okay well now i need to put something in between there so people know what's going on with his church while he's locked up okay so we have this and uh Kind of a decree about how all the mormons that are in the, in missouri still they better leave or there's going to be even more executions so we have some of the characters that you're already familiar with from the story here you know we got brigham young uh, edward partridge we got the smith family emma smith some of his children and then here they are now they're leaving missouri and you see the ruins of missouri their village just abandoned now and as they're leaving i added one more page which is this one, just the parents of Joseph Smith looking out as they leave Missouri and up in the sky is, is Zion, uh, which is, that's a visual callback to earlier in the book. So all that just kind of strengthens the story. Then we're back in jail and now you see that, that, that cliche and they're, they've, you know, they're scruffier because they've been in there for a long time. Sydney's losing his mind. And Joseph's looking more and more like Fonte Bukowski. Unfortunately, that's just how I draw. <laughs> so, jail, and and he's catching you up on what happened after the chapter seven. He left and went to Missouri, and you see that you know, when, when him and Sydney arrived in Missouri, they were treated very well by all the Mormons there. They were really happy to see them, and Brigham did bring all the faithful to Missouri, as he asked them to do. And he gets a visit from his wife, Time continues to pass on. They're just stuck here in this jail cell. Joseph's having all sorts of nightmares, spelling mistakes that uh, need to be fixed. So up here on top of this, of, of these original art, I always leave this big space and that's just for notes. Um, I write these notes to myself as I'm working. Um, that's just how I work. Like I, I know what the general idea of my story is and then I just go forward. So, you know, all this chapter here was written like this in my notebook here. So I knew these are the guys that are in Liberty Jail with him. And I just have notes from readings, from reading all the biographies. I'll just write down stuff that I think I can use in my interpretation. And all of this becomes this chapter, right? So there's that. Um, so yeah. So I, I'm very loose with it, and I and I like to just go forward and just get um, sucked into it and interpret it my own way. I don't, you know. And then we got another beautiful nature page, which is for pacing, because I believe that if I'm doing these eight panel grids all the time, I need to, to break it up as, as much as I can with full page illustrations to give people a break, because I think it's mentally exhausting to just give somebody such a super dense narrative to read. So I do that as much as I can. All right, I don't really have that much more to say about this, but I just wanted to give you a little peek into what I've been working on 
uh, and I, 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 like I said, I'm still doing these cartoon uh, chats with people, with other artists, and I, I'm going to post more of them soon. But I've just been working. This is all relatively new stuff here, and I'm, I'm just cranking away at this book, you know. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good day.